Hello, card fight Vanguard players. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you another deck profile. Of course, this is my intro. Of course, you fools. Well, today's deck profile is none other than the Link Jokas. They're very powerful, and especially with the new cards they got in this set. Oh my goodness, I cannot express how deadly this deck can become. Because now we have a way of controlling the early game state, late game state, and just keep constant ways of our opponent not being able to unlock their cards. Because now we have ways of keeping them kind of permanent locked down. Where we weren't having that ability before, and that was kind of hindering us to play at a full competitive level. The deck was still good, don't get me wrong, but now it's better. So first off, let's talk about the starter here. We have White Knight Fen Fenir. So again, um, we keep the same starter because being able to draw a card just helps us out in the long game. Here's the new star um, grade one that we do not want to ever ride this. This is a no-no ride. You'll throw down a PG first before you ever ride this thing. So Prison Gate Starvator Pal Paladon. So at the start of your turn, Counterblast, put this unit into soul to lock a rear guard locked during your opponent's proceeding end phase that was unlocked so again being able to relock a gray two for just a counter blast to keep them at bay is really powerful and we don't need a counter charger to compensate for this so we do play rpgs in here next i play opener of the dark gates um let me explain like there are five flex spots in this in the grade one lineups and this is one of them so open or dark gates is place if you have if your opponent has two or more two or less rear guards you may discard a card from your hand to draw a card sometimes to help unbrick the grade three more kawa hands we get that's why i feel like it's kind of important to have that draw but again you can toss that to the side if you want and bring in like one of the grade ones that gain 3k if you have a starvator that that 10k swinger might just help you out I also play Hollow Twin Blades Binary Star. At least having him early game will help us make sure our opponent has to play something in the back row to kind of try to hit us harder. So let's go into the grade two lineup. So we have Star Vader, Colony Maker. So when placed, if your opponent has a lock card, Counter Blast to call a grade one less Star Vader from the top of your deck. Colony Maker will be in this deck for quite some time because the fact is being able to grab your Palindam from your deck for one counter blast to then proceed to just keep it on board if you're not facing Kagero early on just helps out because again this is now a free call card again very powerful skills we take advantage of it next we have unraveling starvader run dumb so during your turn if your vanguard is a starvader this unit gets plus three thousand again we're playing starvaders we there is no way in shape we will not have this skill be live the whole game so Next, we have Star Strike, Strike Star Vader Krypton. Krypton is really good because 10k body means they have to apply something to swing into it. Um, because most cards don't get the random boost, so they're going to have to commit board, and then we just lock them into it. And then we do play Singularity Sniper just so that if they do have a grade 3, we can do a triangular lock for really no added features. And then we can just keep them at bay and keep their lock board at a constant pressure. Here's the new MVP of the deck, Star Vader Chaos Breaker Dragon. So at the start of your turn, Counter Blast to retire a rear guard unlocked during your opponent's preceding end phase if you do draw a card, which is really nice. Again, they had to nerf him a little bit, but this nerf doesn't hurt him as badly as most people would say. Um, Counter Blast, one, and discard two Star Vaders to lock one of your opponent's rear guards once per turn, which is really nice because then you just snipe and, again, it helps out and then we do have infinite zero dragon in here for the reason of when a road upon counter blast you know the drill lock two cards pretty much that's why we like him next we also play star vader multiverse dragon so when placed counter blast two to lock one of your opponent's rear guards this unit gets plus five thousand again if we get early rush we can slap this down and it's not at least a wasted target before we get um our overlord out i mean <laughs> Sorry, not Overlord. Chaos Break CBD. Because again, if we get Chaos Breaker Dragon in our hand, but we don't want to ride him right away, we can do this as another option. 
And then we also run Star Vader Nebula Lord in here because Nebula Lord Dragon is really good because gaining plus three and drawing us a card gives us hand advantage that we really need. Again, flex spot here in the grade three lineup is this card here, Multiverse Dragon. And I can say in the grade two lineup, you have like a two, two to three card tech slot and it really is meta dependent. I know that some people like having the the gray two that on swing lock a card when it hits lock a card it's very meta dependent and it's only good in like matchups against if you're facing against pale moon a lot jewel knights a lot kagero a lot and a lot of other decks so i definitely back if you are facing those kind of decks a lot you can use that to help keep their starters at bay and like even facing against blau sometimes hitting that starter early enough can Prevent them from going off. You know what I mean? So, guys, let's dive right into the fights. And let's see if we can get a good battle in here with Chaos. Because I got to say, Chaos Breaker really does some major damage output here now. Again, I should have went with Kai, but I kind of like having her. Because it gives us a new, fresh start. Like, I kind of like having the skins and everything like that. Down below, guys, tell me what you think. I should do for the next deck profile. Ooh. Must defeat the Skylet. Oh, boy. So, this is a really tough matchup in every sense of the word. Because, again, like, in the fact of the matter is, when in this matchup, we kind of want to have ways of locking for free, so they have to hit us. But we have two PGs in hand, and we're going to ride one. And I'll explain shortly. Unless we draw something else. No, nope, we did not draw something else. So, again, we're going to keep him because we can still lock cards and just keep him off his cards for a while. So, that's our goal. Again, we have one PG in hand. Two PGs would be pretty nutty in every sense of the word. But, again, we got to take what we can. So. Ooh, early heals. We take those. We take those with stride. Ooh, that would have been a fantastic grade one. Okay, a 10k. So, we're gonna battle. So, he didn't soul charge much because, again, he's kind of in a bad spot. Ooh. I kind of know where this deck is going. This this deck is not gonna do too well in this situation. Okay, Hell Draw is gonna get two cards. Ooh. Very lucky, him. So, counter blast, soul charge two. Another heal gone. You take those. Okay. You know you're. And he's gonna get the draw two basically. Outside of that, he'll bring me to three. Oof. That's three heals gone though. We'll, we take those. This column can hit us. That calms not. Nice. We went to two. You know what? We'll take that. And we got a Chaos Breaker Dragon out of that deal. So we can discard two Starvaders to lock one of our opponent's rear guards. Think keeping him off one for a turn or two no we can't. yeah that's what we're gonna do because we're gonna just stay on cvd and just discard these two cards and then I don't mind because that's my play thing now weird isn't the grade this thing a star raider nope he is not he's binary star oh good to know First, 
Nice. Draw trigger. Perfect. Into a singularity sniper. Following turn is going to be really nice. So, ooh, into another grade two. Let's go. Because, again, we're just going to keep this one locked down for a few turns. That card is mine. Like, I'm telling you this right now. This this card right here is completely mine. Ooh, Raiji came down. Ooh. Thirteen. Okay, so... Ew! Can you not? Uh, he's at least 10 cards now, so he's in a bad spot. So, any triggers go onto this column. Perfect. Got another Singularity Sniper, so if he hits us, we're kind of in a good spot. He's already at a point of decking out right now, and it's getting worse, because he can't really do much here. Like, if he grabs anything else, he's kind of in a bad spot. Let's see. Soul Charge, he needs... Yep, the Witching Hour. He's got one... He has nothing left after this point. Ten cards. You'll bring me to three. Ooh, he got rid of that heal. Cool. So I can discard two Star Baiters, which would be Palutena and this this card here. Locking that card in. Singular Sniper swings in to that to lock that card. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Lock the Grade 2. Gotta check. He's gotta have all those PGs in hand right now. That's kind of bad. That's fine. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. I'm gonna lock that one. Perfect. That's another turn with Route Raiji actually hitting us, which is good because now that forces him to draw cards. Oh, come on. Ugh, I was hoping he didn't get another Witching Hour, but he could be playing a decent amount of them. So that's one, two. Check the soul list. So we only got one in there, and the rest are in the drop zone. So we're kind of in a good clear. So that's... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This ain't getting any bigger. This could possibly get bigger, but again, he would be a really bad spot. PG number three down. This is a really grindy game. Like, th this is a very tough... you got to make the right calls at the right time. And I've been making the right calls because forcing him to call stuff down is super important. Oh, come on. This dude has all the Witching Hour bikes right now. That's the only thing that's been keeping him alive right now.
Ew. Okay. Reggie's just gonna swing into us no matter what. Again, it's a really tough game because Raiji really does control. Really? Dude, how many of these are you gonna have? Like, this dude has created one, two, three, way too freaking many for counting. Yep. We lose this one, but that's fine. It was a very tough matchup, and again, it's really tough because we're on a massive clock and we don't have a counter charger in our mix. So without a counter charger, we kind of lose the Raiji a little bit too easily. That's fine. We'll get one more game in. Let's see what happens. Again, it's a really tough matchup. Raiji is just not something easily beat. And again, with him getting the Witching Hour, um, Grey 2s just constantly refilling. Like, our main goal is to try to get him to deck out. Are you kidding me? Wow! Double Dark Irregulars. That just never happens naturally. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna lose. The Raiji is just a pain in the butt. Cool. I'm trying to think what kind of play we can do here. Because again, I don't have act I need Chaos Breaker at this point. But again, we can try to punish him here. It's like our biggest hope here is to punish. Let's punish. This is 18, guarantees the hit. Three, six, nine. Oh, draw is going to go off. Gets the heal back, which sucks. Like, half of our game strategy is out the window at the moment against Raiji. I can't wait for his nerf to come in because that just becomes what kills him. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Let's draw us a card, please. Kind of wish I had this other column. I would have brought him to five on grade two, and then we could have easily just rushed him out. Here comes Raiji down. Raiji's going to grab all the bikes. Raiji's nowhere close to being where he needs to be. Can we not? Oh, this is getting frustrating. This is annoying. Cool, we got a grade two. Great one we need. As long as he doesn't have defense, we're fine. Cool. We brought him. We bring him to five. And Raiji is nowhere near his quota, which is good, because Raiji's going to take a few more turns. Ugh. 
Right, he's gonna take another turn. We take those. Okay. PG. Oh, come on! Okay, that guarantees a hit. No PGs end up in my hand. This Raiji's gonna either bang us for the fact of that. That's still not enough. Okay. Oh no. I can only heal out. Mm, I hate this. This is BS. Because right now, I have the win if I can get a heal. One, two, come on. Ugh, that's BS. I'm losing just because Raiji gets lucky, and that's it. Okay. That's just complete BS. Like, in all sense of the word, Raiji, I can't wait for the nerf. And bye bye, Raiji, you deserve the nerf because that play style is just toxic in every sense of the word. You just don't play on how you need to. And literally, he heals or I heal. And again, if you don't see your PGs, that's why I play the drawer so that I can get to a PG if I need to or a card I need to. It just sucked. My hand was not ready for that. I was really hoping he wouldn't get his card pieces. So, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.